Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So it's been quite a time that we are dealing with and um, quite an interesting energy that we have. And so today we have this full moon, um, which actually indicates to us that it's the, um, the coming to end of something or it's time, the time is ripe to let go of something. It's the culmination of something. And so in many people's lives at the moment, there is a moment where we have to ask ourselves, have we had enough of what's been going on? Are we ready to move on from what it is that we have? And so in some cases, you might have experienced loss uh, or bereavement, or you might even have um, had something taken away from you, something physical or something like a home or a car or something that belongs to you, something that you feel uh, justifiably belongs to you that has been snatched away from you and this might have happened during this week or you know in the last couple of weeks with this eclipse energy that we are on the heels of and it's all there to ask ourselves well where is it that we can be a better version of ourselves and where is it that we can let go of what it is that we needed to let go of and and move on and um the culmination as I said, could actually mean the ending or something. But it could also mean for many, uh, for many, it could also mean that it's the beginning of something new. It could be, it could be that, okay, we've had enough now of this and it's time to move on to something other than this. And so how is that we going to do that? So it's not exactly a new beginning uh, and it's an ending of sorts, but it's not necessarily so that you're ready to leave what it is that you are ending. It could be that there is just a realization that comes in this week uh, or that's been building up to come this week where in which you realize, OK, this is I've done. I'm done with this path. I'm done with tolerating X, Y and Z. I'm done with sacrificing um, whatever. And uh, I'm ready to, to make a change in my life. Now, I feel that for most people who have experienced this, what I'm talking about, it is because you needed to have made a change. And this is a change that you know about. This is a change that has been building up for a while. I feel that it would have been building up since an eclipse season last year already. And so, you know, you might be um, ha coming to an end of something that was begun all the way back in September of 2020, or even before that. Uh, and for some of you, it perhaps um, November, December, or at the end of October, I would say in 2020, till now, this is the period at which we are trying to end something that we might have started ending back then. And I feel here that um, it can be a time where people are struggling with sleep. It can be a time where there's a lot of restlessness, a lot of uh, feeling not grounded enough, not connected or feeling a little bit lost from your connection, almost as if you've you are floating in midair and you you don't really you can't really grasp onto anything. But if you're feeling these feelings right now, you don't need to worry because it's it's going to pass with this full moon that we have today. And I'm recording this video on uh, the on the Thursday. The date uh, is the 24th of June. Yes. And so if you are actually uh, experiencing this restlessness, this feeling of things being up in the air as if you know, somebody's dusted something and all the dust is in the air, then it's just a matter of time within the next week or so, in the next three to four days, it'll all settle again and you'll be back to where you need to be. And the reason that we've had this upset right now is because what we are needing to do is make a change in our lives. Now, if we go on without making this change in our lives, it will revisit us at another stage. And you know, it could revisit you in many different ways along the way. But I think that the way in which it will revisit you is probably at, a, the, at the, the end of another eclipse or during another eclipse or during a Mercury retrograde or during some time that is quite significant for you uh, specifically. 
And so I think that now is a good time to begin making headway to create what it is that you want to create, what it is that you know you need to leave behind. And for those of you who are not sure of what it is that you need to leave behind, if you're not sure about what it is that this is all bringing up, if it doesn't make sense to you, if you can't connect the dots, then I think take some time during this time to meditate upon that and have some light be shed upon that. Perhaps you can uh, meditate under the full moon tonight and ask for this enlightenment to come uh, to you for a penny to drop so that you can uh, understand better what all of this meant. I feel that um, there's a lot of moving energy right now all around us and um, it's really moving on energy. It's really shifting energies. There's a lot of uh, unsettled energy as far as people's energetic vibration is concerned as well. So it's like... Um, you know, that people are different, uh, transitioning between energy vibrations, they are transitioning between frequencies, um, as it were. And there are a lot, there's a lot of things in the air at the moment. And this is going to continue, it started at the end of May, and it's going to continue a little bit longer. And I would say that it's only around August, at the beginning of August, end of July, that we're going to feel a lot more settled, a lot more settled. Now, if there are people, if there are some of you who are wanting to make a move right now, if you're wanting to actually get out there, change your course, uh, do something different, then I would say at the end of this month, at the end of June, July, and the beginning of August is a really good time to be able to make that move. Because what's going to happen is that all this other energy underneath you is going to push you along it's going to be the you know helping you it's going to be another momentum that's pushing you along and and helping you get further now if you leave it until august and you don't you change make your change only in august or september you're going to find that maybe it's less chaotic but it will be harder to move along it'll be harder to to actually get things to change because that's what's going to happen is that energy is going to settle quite a lot then it's going to be hard to be able to uh, propagate movement and and get things going all right it's more time of resting reflection and uh yeah you can be very productive in the month of august and september extremely productive but it's not as much a time of changing things big things changing your mind changing your your residence changing uh your lifestyle changing your your mode of transport uh, or changing anything actually that's going to take an emotional toll and it's going to have physical consequences or material consequences I should say all right so uh, yeah this has been quite a week um, I've personally uh, felt uh, the brunt of it as well uh, and it's been it's been quite hard I think that if you are feeling tired during this week, if you are feeling less than, if you immunity is a little bit compromised during this time, this is all part of this energy. And don't worry about it. It's going to be better by next week, Monday. You're going to find that you're going to be sleeping better. You're going to be feeling stronger, that you're able to actually build yourself up again and and do what you need to do and, and you know, move, move forth. Um, with that all right so i'm going to leave you with that and i am wishing you a fabulous day enjoy the full moon that we have and uh wish you many many blessings as you go along blessings abound from kismet rising